Welcome back. If you're watching the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Today, we're going to paint with the Finish Max. Hey, we're going with the Finish Max Super. Uh, why is that important? What's so unique about this video is we're going to be painting vinyl. Vinyl baseboard and vinyl quarter round. Not easy to paint this stuff. You can't just put some latex paint on it and expect it to stick. It'll just peel right off. I've got this product here. It's called the Multi-Surface from Bear Premium Coatings. This is the quart size. When it comes in the gallon size, it's called, it literally says right on it, bonding primer. But the quart size just has a different lettering on it. But it's the exact same thing. Wood, masonry, metal, drywall. Somewhere else here it says uh, vinyl. Stucco, drywall, galvanized metals, uh, ferrous metals, vinyl. That's the big thing. Vinyl, aluminum, wood, concrete, and on glossy surfaces or oil-based paint. So this is what you would paint an oil-based wall with to paint over it with a latex paint. Never used it. We're going to find out if it works. The color. The color is interior white, semi-gloss, beefed up. I've had some, uh, some, some problems in the past when I tell people, you can go to the paint desk and say, can you beef up this white paint? They're like, nobody knows what beefed up is. They do. They all know what beefing up white paint is at the Home Depot. I'm not sure about Lowe's. I haven't gone there in a long time. So this is filled up to about here. And this extra distance is meant for tinting. Well, what you want is some extra white in there. So what that does is it puts more solids into the paint. So you get it topped off with white pigment. And what that does is it gives you a better paint job, gives you better coverage. They do it for free. So go get your paint beefed up. Before we put any paint down, we're gonna scuff it with 220. 220 is just, is perfect. It's not too fine and it's not too coarse to get uh, to give the vinyl some tooth for the paint to do a mechanical bond to. I'm going to bring it down here real close. Show you the gloss before and after. See how glossy that is there? I'm going to hit it with some 220 and it'll take that sheen off. Check my battery here. Oh yeah. Plenty of battery. <laughs> No more gloss. You can't get any sheen on here at all. Well, that took care of the flat surface. That was pretty easy. Uh, for this little detail here, just gonna take the same sandpaper, fold it over, and hand sand it. it works best if you get it on the edge of something. You can clamp it if you want. Probably take it two minutes per board. Now you're only gonna wanna use this vinyl stuff in a bathroom. That's where you're going to find the benefit or someplace where you got a lot of water on the floor or the potential for water to be on the floor. If you've got kids and they take baths uh, and you don't want to go with like a tile baseboard, uh, this is your best option after a tile base. And you don't have to worry about doing your entire house in this because these same profiles you can purchase in the fiber board and it's rare but you can get the finger joint real wood baseboard sometimes it's getting more and more rare to find real wood baseboard it's been a while since we've been in this room on this youtube channel some of you might be thinking this guy's going a little overboard just to paint some baseboard and quarter round and you're 100 percent right this is overkill and what I'm doing is trying to show like best practice for using this paint sprayer to get the best finish within reason. This tip and the last time I used this, I got a very good finish. So for this one, I think I'm going to bump up the tip size to the largest one because I don't want to thin it down and it is just baseboard. I'm going to do a few extra things though. I am going to filter the paint before I put it in the bowl. Now I'm going to mix her up here. Again, this is uh, the bonding primer or the multi-surface primer. I guess I don't really need to yell since I've got this microphone on. I do have some water here in case I need to thin down this stuff here. It's not too thick, the bonding primer, which is good. I'm going to put a whole bunch in there. Uh, gives me more of an angle when using the, the sprayer. You can always filter it and push, put it right back in the can. I'm only planning on doing one coat of this. We'll see how it works out. 
So in one of the old videos that I uploaded with this sprayer from, it's gotta be at least two years old, someone asked, can you spray pointing up in the air? Uh, you can if you turn this pickup tube facing the rear. In this orientation, it's meant to be spraying down. You flip this around, you can spray up. The video I just uploaded, at least I think I just uploaded it, uh, was how I broke this whole system down and cleaned it after it had been sitting for over a year with paint in it. So if you want to know how to take this whole thing apart, put it back together, that video will be linked in the description. It'll be popping out all over the place. This vinyl can get static charged. So you want to wipe it down. I can hear the, probably shouldn't be doing it with this rag. I thought it was a cotton rag. I don't know, I think any rag will get static to build up on it. I'm just wiping off the dust that didn't get blown off. Again, this is really overkill for baseboard. This is more of what you would do if you had like stain grade cabinetry or something. It says if you are going to spray this, you can uh, dilute it with water right there on the bottom. Uh, no more than one half pint per gallon. So a half a pint of water per gallon of paint. Um, let's see here. Two coats may be needed to get heavy stains. We don't have heavy stains. I've got the red tip. Uh, if it's too big, I'll go down to the green. I'll dial my paint all the way down and then work my way up. <laughs> Okay, this is coat number two of the bonding primer. Hey, two coats of the bonding primer is done. Didn't take long because it's like 96 degrees out today, which is hotter than the recommended temperature range that you're supposed to use this paint in. They say 90 is the maximum. It's been a while since I bought paint. They got plastic cans now. I'm gonna bring you in close and show you how full this is. So you can see how full this is. These gallon jugs of paint don't come that full. They added an extra bit of actual pigment. So again, I'm gonna filter this. It's overkill for baseboards, but I got all the stuff here, might as well use it, right? And I am going to thin this down with water. The only sprayer that you would not technically have to thin this down is uh, an airless sprayer. You know, I might try it without the water first. So I'm gonna try this without the without thinning it down at all, just to see how, how it shoots with the medium green tip and the Finish Max Super. First coat's already dry. It only takes a minute or two for this latex paint to dry in here. Oh, it's time to put the second coat on. If I can find my, my mask. That's it for this video. You're gonna wanna hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and hit the like button. You don't wanna miss the next video where we install this into that basement bathroom. It's gonna be a unique install because there's no wood in the walls. There's no wood studs. And, well, I'm gonna to try to shoot a nail through this into the steel stud. There's a high likelihood that it just bends and I have to do what the previous installer did and that is use tiny screws and screw this, which isn't gonna be fun. Make things take a long time. The finish on this is okay. It's appropriate for baseboard. It is not appropriate for a cabinet. Uh, you'll notice I didn't sand it all in between coats. I just put down two coats of primer and two coats of the top coat, and that's it. That's all you need to do for baseboard. Now, if it's gonna be a bookcase or a cabinet that you're gonna touch and feel, you're gonna wanna sand between coats and you're gonna wanna thin down the paint, not the bonding primer. You do your two coats of bonding primer, you'd sand with probably 120, then you do 
a, uh, a thinned coat of paint and another thinned coat of paint. And I would sand uh, after the first coat. And then you may even do a third coat of thinned paint. And then you would get a perfectly smooth finish. But for baseboard, it's fine. If you've done this before, painted the vinyl baseboard or the vinyl trim, put down in the comments the method and materials that you used and what the results were. How well did it hold up? Uh, did it last a month? Two months? 20 years? Did they even have these 20 years ago? Don't think they did. Goodbye.